大家好，欢迎收听今天的早安英文。我是卡拉。And this is Dylan. So, Kara, let's discuss some English sayings that can seem rude if they are said in the wrong way. Okay. 呃、uh, ，今天呢，我们要给大家聊这么一个话题啊，就是同样一个意思的两个英文句子，但是呢，经常我们会选择说那一个听起来会有点粗鲁、不礼貌的那一个。呃、uh, ，举个例子，大家就明白了。就是如果说我们要对对方说“请坐”，哎，你随便坐，请坐下。我们经常都会讲 “sit down, please”， 但其实呢 ，we have a better way to say it， right？ Yeah， you would say please have a seat。嗯，为什么呢？ Uh, because it just sounds nicer.、Uh, have a seat is a better way of saying please sit down. Ah,、uh, 如果你讲 please sit down， 它更多的像一个比较怎么说呢 ？Order. It does sound like an order. It sounds like something an angry mom or an angry dad would say to a child. 呃、uh, ，就是我们平时讲坐下呢，其实你更多的时候如果去讲 please have a seat， 会更加的好一些，更加的呃合适一些，礼貌一些。如果你讲 please sit down， 它更多的就像一个命令，像一个指令一样，就是经常是爸爸妈妈对孩子说，或者说上级啊对他的下属说，就是这个命令的感觉会比较强烈，所以就会有点不礼貌，有点粗鲁。大家可以回想一下，最多我们就是当时以前在上学的时候，老师上课的时候都会讲 "Please sit down"， 那是不是其实就是上，就是有一点上级对下级的这么一种感觉啊，有一种命令指示的感觉。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于。So in English, we often have tones too, right?、Mm. So an up tone and a down tone.、Mm. Do you know the difference between the two? 就是比如说那种 yes or no question， 就是 up tone. Yeah, and an information question would be a down tone. An、mm. example of an information question is anything that requires、uh, something other than a yes or no question. 对，其实就是我们讲的特殊疑问句。Yeah, so example, I could say. Kara, what's your favorite type of coffee? 这个时候呢，就是一个特殊疑问句，所以呢，就会念一个降调。那如果说一般疑问句呢，就那种回答 yes 或者 no 的那种一般疑问句，我们就会读一个声调。So the reason why we have an up tone with yes or no questions is because we want to have some kind of fake excitement. Okay, like we are asking a question that is going to get the other person excited. Okay. 嗯。And if you say it in a down tone, it can seem rather rude. 啊、oh, yeah. ，所以就是如果说这种 yes or no question， 如果说你用一个 down tone 去讲它，就会有点 rude。Yeah、exactly.。啊，明白明白。所以大家呢，平时就算是同样一个句子，这个语调也会对你的这个语气产生一些影响。So the next one we're going to talk about is, do you understand versus I am making sense? Which one seems less rude to you, Kara? Am I making sense? Yes, exactly.、Mm. So if you if you ask someone,、uh, "Do you understand?" is often seen as an insult to someone's intelligence, like they cannot comprehend what you're talking、mm. about. Okay,、uh, and if you ask, "Am I making sense?" the onus is on you to be explaining something better. Okay. 对。就是如果说你讲完一个事情，解释完一个事情之后呢，如果说你问对方说 ，Do you understand？ 就是有一种感觉说，如果说你不明白的话，那就是 your fault。Yeah, exactly.、Uh, 但是如果你换一个说法，就是说 ，Am I making sense？ 它就是那种，呃、uh, ，我有表达清楚自己的意思吗？如果说你没有明白，那可能是我表达的不够好的那种感觉。所以，如果说大家下一次要问说啊，你听明白了吗？不要讲 Do you understand？ 要讲、yeah. Am I making sense？ Exactly. 或者 Is that making sense？ Is that making sense？ 嗯，也、嗯、可以。Or is this making sense？ 对，都可以。So the next one we're gonna we're gonna move on to is please wait versus just a moment, please. Okay. So the proper way to say this would be just a moment, please. It seems less rude. You could say please wait. Uh, and the please wait is seen more as a、uh, request, okay, or a command. 
Mm. Just a moment is is actually asking for just a brief moment of time to take your take your time doing something. So he and his previous one, please sit down, I feel a little like, uh, an order, uh, kind of feeling. If you say please wait, then but 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 if you say please I'll be back very soon. 就你稍等一下下就好了，我很快就回来。所以听起来呢，就会让人觉得舒服很多。Exactly. The next one we're going to move on to is I'm very busy today versus I'm afraid I'm a bit busy today. 这个就是比如说我邀请你说 Would you like to join us for a drink tonight? 那这个时候你给我怎么样的回答 ？Yeah.、Uh, so if you say I'm very busy tonight. That's short and to the point and direct. Especially if you have the emphasis on very, it can seem very. It, it can seem rude. Okay, like saying, "I'm very busy today," almost like you're annoyed by them asking the question. Ah,、uh, okay. 行，所以这种情况下，就算你很忙的话啊，你要讲 "I'm afraid I'm a bit." Busy today. Yes. 但是如果讲 I'm very busy today， 就是感觉好好像你你很恼火，呃，别人邀请你出去玩，你非常恼火一样。你看不出来我今天很忙吗？就有这种意味在里面，所以这样子就不太好。So the key word here is afraid. Okay. So this means you're reacting to someone else's feelings, which means you're starting to care about what those people feel. 对，所以这个 I'm afraid 就非常起到一个缓和语气的作用。Yeah. Next, we're going to move on to coffee is fine versus I'd like coffee, please. Which one do you think is right, Kara? I'd like coffee, please. I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly,、uh, right? Because we have please in there. Coffee is fine just means、um, you're not really giving much thought to that person's、uh, actions of them getting you a drink. You don't whatever attitude. Yeah, exactly. Ah,、yeah. uh, 就是如果说有人问你说，呃、uh, ，What would you like to drink? Tea or coffee. 然后这个时候，如果说你回答 coffee is fine， 就是有一种啊，行吧，行吧，行吧，那<笑>种这种无所谓的态度，就会让人觉得啊，这什么啊？然后如果说你回答 I'd like coffee, please， 就会听起来让人舒服很多。Yeah,、mm. and the word fine has some some wiggle room. It can be interpreted as negative or positive. 对，就像 good 那个词一样。Yeah, especially when girls say it like. Fine. 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 <laughs> 行吧， <Yeah. 笑>我没生气。<laughs> <laughs> okay. And when giving suggestions, you should try to stay away from the word "should" because this implies that that person has to do it. Okay.、Mm. The onus is on them to do it, and you are not going to help them. Should 这个词的命令感真的太强了，所以你在给建议的时候，尽量还是要避免用到这个词。Yeah. So we'll we'll give you some examples. You should contact Mr. Robertson. You might want to contact Mr. Robertson. 嗯，这个 might want to 听起来明显的更加 softer 一点。Yeah. 嗯、mm. ， because that that leaves some interpretation to say it's up to that person to contact them. 对，就是哎，我给你这个建议，但是最后去不去做这个事情呢？ It's your choice. It's your call. Exactly. 啊、uh, ，最终还是你的决定。但是如果你讲 you should， 就是有一种 you have to， you must、yeah. 这种感觉。Should should implies that there's some kind of obligation. 嗯、mm. ，like you should do this or else something bad will happen. 对，所以以后呢，在给建议的时候啊，觉得啊，你应该要去做什么什么事情，要讲 you might want to do something. Exactly. 好了，那最后呢，给大家整理总结一下啊。首先呢，第一个，当你说请坐。Please have a seat. 嗯，第二个听得懂吗 ？Am I making sense? 第三个，请等一下。Just a moment, please. 第四个，我今天很忙。I'm afraid I'm a bit busy today. 第五个，咖啡就好。I'd like coffee, please. 第六个，你应该要联系一下罗宾森先生。<laughs> you might want to contact Mr. Robertson. 嗯、uh, ，大家一定要记下来啊！这些相对比较礼貌的表达，不要讲出来英文，让人家觉得说非常的 offensive 就不好了。Yes. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，
听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。And thank you for coming to Morning English. This has been your host, Dylan. 我是卡拉 And have a good day, guys. Bye bye. bye. bye.